Hello Gophers and welcome back to another part of Golang Gotchas and today we will take a look at arrays and slices. Lists of objects is a really really essential part of programming since uh, since doing stuff with a lot of objects is really where computers excel and humans suck so that is why we need some concept of lists in Go there are arrays and there are slices uh, there is however one big gotcha in Go compared to other languages and that is that uh, in Go this, the size of the array is part of its type to demonstrate this let's create a new uh, array called hey and that is remember the size here um, it's part of the type so it's hey is an array of three integers and then let's try printing that print print and just do it like that okay so it prints it initializes the array to zeros and then just prints it prints those. Um, now we can create a, a literal array um, let's do it like so one two three and then we print that see so one two three uh, now since uh, this size here is part of the type if I at a later stage in this program want to reuse the variable hey it has to be with an array of type three integers so I cannot do it like this uh, try to create a four integer array see the compiler complains about that cannot use four int as a three int there is just as a little sidetrack here we can change the program to iterate over each of the elements um, and we do that with a for loop and then uh, we will use the range not the rage range keyword range hey and this keyword gives us first the index and then the value of this uh, of the elements of this array ah. like so let's delete that row now it complains we need to print for example the value uh, we are not using this index variable here so if we want to skip that we just use an underscore there if it happens that we only want to use the first uh, variable the index then we can just oops remove the last part but we will skip the index here so try let's try to run that and we get them on a row each okay that is arrays uh, remember that again the size of the array of the array is part of its type, so you can't uh, you can't overwrite uh, this array with something that has a different size. Uh, now for slices, slices are mm, simply put, they are 
an array with some other stuff slapped onto them. Uh, we can create a slice from this hay variable and let's create a whole slice. Hey ho! Uh, and we do that by slicing the array. Let's, for example, slice out the first element. Uh, and we do that by first we give it the uh, start index and then a colon and then the end index and the end index will not be included in the slice so if we do it like this um, we have to like so and then we iterate over ho instead uh, this will give us it will give us we start on index 0 and we end on index 2 just the first value there uh, if we only th this syntax here uh, is familiar to the one in uh, that is used in go uh, in python uh, but I do believe it's a bit more flexible. You can use negative numbers to slice from the end of the list. I don't believe it's possible here. Uh, so, if we want uh, the, if you, for example, want all elements starting from index one and all the way to the end, we select one as our starting uh, element and then just delete that one and then it will then it will go on all the way to the end so we get the two and the three and likewise we can omit the first part here to start from the beginning if we do it like this and then we should get the first two. Oh, sorry if we do it like that, we should get the first two. Uh, the, this last index is exclusive, meaning that it will not be part of the slice. Okay, so there is another way to make a slice. We can use the make built-in function and we give that first the type of the slice notice how there is no size here and then we give it the initial size I have to comment out that fella now because it's not used anymore so now we get five zeros uh, There is another, just as we used a literal declaration here, we can create literal, sli literal slices here as well. Um, oops, like so, int, bonk, dink, and then we can just uh, Yeah, there you have it. Um, now there is what well, one really nice thing about slices is that there is a built-in function to append to them. Uh, what happens is that uh, the underlying array gets append. Uh, you set the elements of the underlying array, and if they don't fit, a new array is declared and uh, replaces the old array. Um, but all that is taken care of under the hood so you don't really have to worry about it uh, so let's append to this hoe this hoe slice and then we give it the slice we want to append to and then the thing we want to append let's append the six and now we get a 6 here 
uh, we can append a complete uh, uh, another slice let's let's reuse this guy here let's append the hey fella however now it is an array so we have to slice it like so and uh, append is actually a variadic function meaning it can take uh, any number of if we for example have a, an int slice as the first argument it, c it can take any number of uh, an arbitrary number of ints here comma separated like so boom uh, so now we have this slice and to convert this uh, if we end this with three dots it uh, is sort of understood as each element of this slice now we should get one two three four five one two three and we do that's awesome <clears throat> I think that's everything I wanted to say today then this had me a bit confused because I was focusing way too much on arrays and way too little on slices in the beginning so if you like me find this confusing forget about arrays for the time being and just use slices but be aware that they exist and if need be you you can look it up and get on with your coding yeah that's it. Bye!